are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. <laughs> this is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. Um, looking forward to good nominations, performances, engagements, everything, activities for him as well. Post the events, well, pre, during, and post the event. Big shouts going out to be strapped. Great guy. Uh, I feel I'm hot guy. I like him. Hot guy. ABG. Anyway, still time check 26 past 10. And that was only giving you highlights also from our training live this morning, uh, powered by our Imago TV. Now, I am so cool. Like they say, the customer that may be big, but Betway's cash out be bigger. Now, this enhanced early partial and auto cash out feature will let you cash out your bets early, you know, cash out a portion, or you can even cash out ongoing bets or even set your best to even cash it itself out automatically to your wallet all this to give you way more control over thrilling bet um you know every thrilling bet you play sign up today at betway.com.ga terms and conditions apply it is regulated by the gaming commission of ghana no under 18 betway get way more also just dial star 759 hash to get connected back onto your dstv and go tv if you have been signed out or expat subscription because big brother season nine niger season nine is already on there in biggie's house the fortunes can shift in the blink of an eye just ask the aunt and the auntie niece duo in dna who saw their big brother niger season nine journey come to an unexpected end but still more pests in the house it's going to be exciting whether it's strong ships couples pretending to be friends or even playing chef all the drama is inside big brother niger season nine to so get reactivated asap and enjoy on go team TV um, 149 and DSTV 198. Uh, Live Rest has got great news for you as well. Listen, uh, they're located on the La Baoleshi Road, East Legon. Every Sunday, there's a brunch at 9 to 4 p.m., 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. You know, a wide variety of meals to choose. There's t- t- um, chicken, tilapia, goat's meat, redfish. What I was going to say was going to be crazy, but amen, mm-hmm. I didn't say it, inshallah. But call them on 020-133-776. That's 020 133 Seven six six to experience some live resto lounge now. Eat hot, eat good. Whilst at that, um, Lancaster University has got a uh, great news for you. Um, you can get a British degree at a fraction of the cost and uh, also get a vibrant student experience that will help equip you with useful employability skills taking you a step closer to the career of your dreams all this and more is enjoyed with a degree uh, with up to 50 percent scholarship at lancaster university ghana now be taught by the finest faculty of train to uk standards um you know in their ultra modern campus for more info just visit lancaster.edu.gh or you can email them admissions at lancaster.edu.gh or call 0209-607008 good morning again and welcome to the show now this morning being tuesday we're talking health like we do every week and dr chris aka pastor chris <laughs> joins us this morning on the show now we are talking about cesarean sex um you know it's a woman's women's affair uh, as well you know we, we, we was talking about you know childbirth the process uh for most women it's a very thin line between life and life if you understand um and um god rest the souls of friends we've lost through that process but there's also <coughs> cs um and you know cs for what we know uh medically if we, we know we are not you know medically inclined that's why dr, dr. chris is here is to uh-huh. cut open the you know the woman and remove the baby but i want to understand pros cons what to you know contribute to that what um, would make uh when does the woman have a choice when do you not have a choice I want to understand all this this morning so chris good morning welcome to the show good morning thanks yes. for having me yes as always as always thank you so much thank you so much um cutting open the human body and closing it back um and letting the person walk normal it's not it's no simple feat by mm-hmm. doctors um and we want to understand a lot about it you know uh uh lenny and i will plan our, our um um the show to a bow, bro. Oh, we can't see my man. Can you see that? I see him. I mean, no. Oh, man, oh, man, got that. No, no, no. You see your parking. The near the got that. You go fall inside. I know the man. No. Yes, I love you too. I know. Yes, admire it. Yes. Let me amble. Amble. So, no, please talk to her for me. 
Um, <laughs> yes, welcome to the show. Anyway, so what exactly is cesarean section? Now, I am from the sound of the name, it sounds like some Julius Caesar name that came back from some place that somebody to do it in the ancient Greek time and they have adopted it till now. Yeah, so basically, the cesarean section is performed, it's an incision that you make on the abdomen. A type of incision, or it's is it an yeah, incision? Gen- gen- it's, it's a type of incision. Okay. So, I'll, have an, I'll show you certain materials concerning that. There are different types of incisions you can make to concerning CS. Okay. But this is basically you saying that you're not going to go the natural way, mm-hmm. and you're going to uh, manual, you're going to manually get a child out. Mm-hmm. And this is only done when natural birth is not an option. Mm. And what will be the causes of, anyway, we'll get into that. What will be the causes of um, you having uh, a natural a natural birth not being an o- option? Um, the first one you talk about is macrosomia. Big macrosomia. Baby. Big baby. Macrosomia. Mm. Mm. So that's when the baby is really so big that mm. it mm. can't pass through the pelvis. Mm. So the pathway is too small for the child. We have to make alternative routes for mm. the child to come out. Mm. That's the f- that's the first one that's common. Then the second one is, um, so the, the, the baby grew too big. Too big, yes. Wow, that's yes. A, is that a healthy baby or? Is it's it healthy. It's healthy. Wow. It's just then too I big. I have a few friends that I know definitely. <laughs> you know, uh, yes. I told you, Lenny will ask questions. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's 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 a concern to me because I've had a friend lose a baby because of that because the weight that the weight of the baby she was told was ideally she was supposed to have pushed, right? And then some way, somehow, between, in a, in a space of a week, the baby grew so big, and then she went into labor. She was still trying to push because they had had the conversation with the doctor about wanting to have a natural, but then she was again CS, right? But at the point where she decided that she couldn't push anymore because they noticed um, the baby was too big to be pushed out, and they opted for um, cesarean section. They lost the baby. The baby Oosh. came out, and just like a few minutes, the baby passed, and that that was really heavy. What what at what point does the weight change? What what are the possibilities? What are the reasons for the baby weight just switching like that? Because there's someone else I know who also went through the same thing. The baby weight changed. She also lost the baby at birth. So there are so many factors that go into child growth, right? The first instance is what you are feeding yourself as a mother. In the space of a week. No, I'm. Oh, I'll get back days. to there. Okay. So, with the changes that the child is going through from first trimester, second trimester, third trimester, going forward, whatever is being put into the woman's body is what the child also takes from and then grows, right? Mm. That's understanding like that. So basically, it's medicine will tell you that the child is sort of like a parasite. It's in a place where it's feeding of the mother. So mm-hmm. it's, it's basically like parasitism. Now, in the sense of a child from a point, let's say point zero, as you said, within like a space of a few days, can go from a certain weight to a certain weight. It's possible. Because there's so many hormones and growth hormones that's going on in the child. So mm-hmm. anything could disrupt. In the same way, anything can disrupt your menstrual flow. Even work stress can disrupt your menstrual flow. Mm-hmm. Women are so bonded by some of these external factors and internal mm-hmm. factors that anything at all can disrupt anything for a woman. So that's why some f- some pregnancies, you realize that we like to admit the person to cut out all the noise and all the distraction that can cause the child, the person to lose the child. Mm. Sometimes too, you can have us saying that don't allow the, p- the hair to lift weight, don't allow her, if she's in a stress over, move her to like yeah. her mom's place. So m- most women like to go and live with their mom. But she's been there and sort of she'll manage, help you out. Yeah. Yeah. Than being with the, like, their spouses who it's figuring it out for the first time. Oh, 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 oh. Challenge is triple S. Yeah, put that to it. Yeah. Don't put that one. Hey, triple S. Yeah, so unfortunately, she lost the child. You know, very important this morning. He said that, dog, he said that men have to go through the stress of dealing with somebody who's going through stress. So we do with double stress. So she's going through stress. Yes. And then you are going through the same stress with her. Yes. And you can't do anything about it. You can't do anything about it. Yes. That's stressful. Uh, what about her? Still being not. A man thank is, you. Being a man is not easy. Oh, not it stressful. doesn't have to be comparison. We but didn't you say are she's not. <laughs> no, we didn't. Who compared? You. We didn't say she's not going through stress. The, so that we understand the hormonal imbalances oh. can be problematic. Yes, but, but I, I feel, I feel. You see, when I was talking about CS, the first thing I wanted to say that before CS was an option was an option only when you can't have natural delivery. That's but when we do CS. Lifestyle. Now it's a choice. People are deciding to go it. Mm. So it's called an elective CS. You can elect to do it instead of pushing. Some women will come with different reasons why they don't want to push. 
That is mm. their own choice. But we will discuss it. <laughs> no, we will not say their own choice, Doctor. No, mm. there are reasons. We will discuss that. That that's at nine forty-five. On this show, nine forty-five. It's a dangerous it's minute. Mm. The bell, the nine forty-five. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Bring the bell. Everybody knows we enter. We will discuss at nine forty-five. We know why. But I'll be civil. I'll be civil for the next nine yeah. minutes. Yes, <laughs> you have nine minutes. <laughs> have nine minutes to be more. civil. To yes. be very civil. All right, so I just quickly go through. So we get nine forty-five. Uh, yes. Happens. So there are other complications that also happen. Like uh, we have like placenta previa. Um, Debbie, if you could show us the images, then yeah. I'll show the images. Well, I'll talk about we, can, it. we can be putting the pictures, yeah. the, the photos as yeah. we go along. Um, so these are conditions yeah. requiring a CS. Well, that so that is being worked on. Worked on. Um, okay, so I'll I'll, yeah. I'll keep speaking. So basically, um, that let's talk about the advantage of having a CS. Mm -hmm. um, number one is that you can actually time when you want to give birth. You know, you don't have to wait for the body starts pushing and all that. We can actually, if the child is ready, we can go in and get it. Okay. Instead okay. of waiting for like due date, mm. you know, we can have the can due. Date. That question yeah, about when the child is ready. When when do you determine when the child is ready? Oh, is there any full functionality test you run? Yeah, we do that. We do uh, okay. we do an ultrasound. So during pregnancy, we we start making you do an ultrasound. Mm -hmm. So we keep monitoring progress. So in the first few months, you might not even determine whether the child is male or female, because mm. everybody is born with both. And certain hormones. So we are born trans. Uh, Everybody. We are, we are born. We are born uh, with everything. We start female. We start everything the same, it's, but certain organs will develop over others. Mm. So in situations where somebody's on both didn't develop properly or both developed, mm. then you have people having the separate Organs, condition. Yeah. Right. Now let's move on from that. Then the other option too is that it um, is less painful because then we give you anesthesia, and then you don't feel anything, and we. We, we get it done. Instead of pushing. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Doc. The the pain after CS yeah. and <laughs> the pain um, during uh, you want to compare the, the No, two. I'm only saying because you said it's less painful, right? That's but people less. don't want to go through it because after natural birth, some people can start walking almost immediately. But it's not the same for CS. CS requires a few weeks. Oh, I know. We've gotten better to heal and all of that but you still need to be more careful, careful. Oh, yes. when you do cs mm -hmm. than actually, actually both of them both of them you need to be careful because yeah i get that but all i'm saying is some people some people can just bounce back right after like you after can have a natural, natural birth, birth or right yeah. after natural birth you can have a natural birth and then tomorrow you see the person walking around walking it's, it's around. not right but yes it's uh -huh. possible yes yes, yes. It's not but right. for cs it's not the same yeah, because and I think because, that because i was not quite a disadvantage mm -hmm. because it's a surgical procedure mm. as soon as you make an incision on somebody you make a surgical incision on somebody it changes yeah. everything right because now you've broken the skin whereas in natural birth you haven't broken any skin it's a passage already it's already there it's a road that was already there laid out so it's just going to expand and then the child comes through but here's the case you are bypassing that to make a bypass mm -hmm. so that's mm. <laughs> yeah. bypassing that to make a bypass <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. then then it has to heal and all that so mm. we tell you don't lift heavy stuff and all that so yes the pain as long as the anesthesia leaves you're talking about the pain after the fact yes it's painful any second process you start feeling pain because yeah. you need to you need to heal <laughs> but when we get to he'll talk about reasons why some choose not to, right. like why they choose not to push with all this pain you're talking mm. about. In consideration of the pain, why are you deciding to actually do CS? And, Doc, I think that there's a certain fear that comes with like CS losing your life. Or I don't know what it is, but for most people who get pregnant, I mean, you are the doctor, but okay. when you are doing the comparison between people who want to do natural birth and those who want to do C section, which one is higher? Years ago, Natural birth was higher. Now, now CS, CS is, is higher. higher. Based okay. on okay. fiscal appearance, the woman wants to retain the body and all these things are coming in now. Oh. So she doesn't want to the down there to that. <laughs> that's oh, right, that's right, right. Yeah, right. so okay. that's why they are. Okay. Save it for 945. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, all yeah, right, yeah, so yeah, the disadvantage that. is that it's high risk of infection and blood loss because of the incision we made. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. And then we have a longer hospital stay for some people, some people shorter long hospital stay. Now, in comparison with natural delivery, right? Is the baby is born through a bed canal. Mm -hmm. If the child's head is too big, then we make an episiotomy, we make an incision to widen the vagina a bit mm -hmm. to allow the child to come widen through. the opening of the vagina. Okay. Opening of the vagina. Mm -hmm. So we make an incision. 
surgical incision down there so that the baby got her child can come I out. I hope it's stitched back after. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we do still. Yeah. Amazing, amazing work. We stitch yeah. it back. You can't even tell. So, yeah, so that one, that, that means the hospital and this, uh, the doctors must be good enough to stitch it back. To very good. Very yeah, good. Because if they're not good yet. In Ghana, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, fortunately for us, we it's, have it's compulsory. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be like Let fine, like fine stitching is, is mandatory. Mm. It, like you have to, because aesthetics is important. Mm. Mm. Where you're working at, it needs to go back to close to 99 percent right so you can't just like patch it and plaster mm. it and cement it and walk away you have yeah. to like a lot of sanding and you know go back and Is it go back in there and make sure that you're getting it. right mm. so then the next thing is that um breastfeeding is easier but not sure delivery because um it allows for more and uh, one thing to women go for is there's this a statement somebody made that when you do cs as compared with a natural birth Natural birth gives you that feel of immersive, like emotional connection with your child. <coughs> Going through that pain during that process, they feel it's a journey that it, it brings you. I but don't know. I can't quantify. It. I can't quantify that. Dog, you've they've already gone through the nine yes, months. Yes, that was it. You can't so quantify that. Is is everybody in his experience, mm. right? They are based on. I feel if I go through the natural way, I have more like bonding with my child. But I feel. If you are doing regardless, something wrong, your mother is yeah. going to. So she, she always uses that. I carry for nine months. Yeah. So, yeah. Then the disadvantage for that is that. Um, for for which one? The for the natural. For natural. For natural is that sometimes in pushing you can push some of your internal organs out. You can have a prolapse. Hey. Where the vagina will sort of bulge out. Hey. Because there's so much pressure that you are building your mm. muscles, like your abdominal muscles, your uterine is contracting. Everything Realize pushing. the way hey. lady is the only one saying, hey, 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 <laughs> when no. the gentlemen are not affected. Um, that, that's why we need to pay premium attention yeah, to so women. Natural, one thing on natural is also it's unpredictable. Your, yours or others? Others. Ah, okay. So you can also have unpredictability of it, the natural bed. <coughs> Wait, so when it pushes out, that means that you have to... You know there's muscles, like you have your hernia? You yes. know Henry, right? Yes. The, the, the pelvic floor has muscles there. Mm-hmm. So sometimes when you are lifting weights, it can get weak. And other organs will pass through and get hernia, mm-hmm. herniation, right? In the same way, there's a floor for the vagina, right? You have a pelvic floor where all these organs are up there. Last time I mentioned the uterus mm-hmm. up there. So the more you're pushing, you know, it's coming down. So you're it becomes too weak. Pressure. Yeah, you're applying pressure. It can cause some of them to descend. So mm-hmm. when when well, when we push it back when you have a prolapse like yes, you a mentioned, vaginal prolapse, yes. you push it back. Yeah, we push it back. You push the vagina. Everything back. Hey. <laughs> Razak, no. Sometimes Razak is even able to cause that. But <laughs> we we'll discuss that later. The, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm not a guy, name, but that's crazy. what I know is since I have children and I've read with my wife, the prolapse happens so that if it was attached, if the the wall was stuck to the rest of your inside. That amount of force would have ripped things. Everything out. Everything out. Do you understand? Mm. So it's like the inside of a hat. So it does that on purpose to save you, to allow you to expel. So it's whatever. for your own good. It's for your own yeah. good. Yeah. It's, it's, so it's just like it's something we are not used to. It's like those people used to be able to flip their eyes. Yeah. yeah. That, that's it. So you flip it back and it's done. It does, nothing has changed. Nothing gets Are you elastic. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So it's, the whole passage it's, is elastic. It's, 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 it's flexible like that to allow it to expel whatever is there. And then get back to his position. So it's not you, it's wow, it's amazing. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh, so David, cue the, vi- cue the video on CS. Okay. Well, no, okay. natural, uh, cue the video on natural delivery. I'm just, All right, I'm so let's something. put that video on screen now and check it out. Boom, 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 boom. Which can lead to sedation of the child. So it's usually done when surgery has to be done in an emergency setting. Regional anesthesia, such as spinal anesthesia, is the method of choice in which the spinal nerves are numbed. And the baby won't receive any medication. The patient remains conscious, but won't feel the pain. The doctor will begin by making an incision in your skin. There are different skin incisions, a vertical incision, and more often, a horizontal incision just above the pelvic bone, usually around the bikini line. After the skin incision, the fascia fat, muscle layer, and peritoneal layers are cut. 
The urinary bladder is carefully pushed to the side to protect it. After the incision to the uterus is made, the doctor will rupture the amniotic sac. And the baby can be taken out of the uterus. Then the umbilical cord is cut and the baby is wrapped in warm towels for the first examination. The placenta was gently removed. And the cut layers were now sewn back together. The whole duration of the cesarean section is around 15 to 30 minutes of the surgery. The mother stays in the hospital for four to seven days. Walking after the C-section is necessary to speed recovery. This can help ease gas pains, help you have a bowel movement, and prevent blood clots. Okay, so that was a bit of a self-explanatory video there, you know, giving us insights, a quick short insight into how the CS process is done. But there are still questions around it. Um, um, Lenny, you were asking questions. Yes. Yes. I was asking the anesthesia dog. I, I think that's also a fear because time and again, I've heard people say that later on in life, it begins to affect you one way or the other. Is there any truth to it? Um, to everything, there's, there's chances. Mm. And the CCR works so well. 99 point something percent of the time works. But everybody can react to it differently. Per the person who's administering it, per the, the anesthesia itself, mm. you can have side effects to it, just like any other drug. So isn't there a way to check if it's going to go down well, if the person's body yeah, is we going do to tests. We do, Yeah, we do tests. Okay. We do certain tests too. And you see, some patients are also stubborn. After doing this, we tell you stay for a bit, you know, we give you parameters, things you need to do mm. to recover. The people are just on their feet. They want to just get going because mm. they feel better. It's like the same thing with medications. You get a person seven days taking medication, three days is fine, stops. People do that all the time. Mm. They never get to the end of anything. And the further you discharge, you can't really tell what's going on at home. Where the person lives. We don't have that data. You can't, whether there are stairs, whether the person is a ramp, mm. whether you can't tell any much. Because some will go home and soon as they get home, they are, they are back to doing their chores. Or at certain places. So some even tell you that they want to stay. Because mm. so they know, yeah, where they know mm. if they go home, they are being pampered right now. If you step <laughs> foot in the house, <laughs> it ends. Yeah. So this goes out to those who are married, spouses who are giving birth. You should be like more, uh, I feel like, have feel for them. Right. Because if we used to have this thing in medical school where it mimics contractions of the womb during childbirth. Mm. If you don't take care, you can put it on yourself. Hey. Mm. If you're a man and put it, the, the, the way it's contracting, even normal menstrual cramps, see how it is. Yeah. Imagine that on a guy. We can't handle that. Yeah. No, we are stronger and all that, and we can, but. Even, we're not built for that. We're yeah. not built for that. Yeah. <sighs> so sometimes a woman will say it and a man will not get it, which makes sense. Like when, as in when, when she's describing her cramps. Her cramps, her yeah. pain, it, it looks so far fetched. And even the, even the contractions. Yes. Uh, Let case five hit you in the. Uh, Balls, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Boy, it's not even case five. When you are swinging your arms or maybe you're trying to do something. Or you and zip it. Hits or you zip it. That part. <laughs> Boy. But is that the reason why the uh, the video that you were talking about, where the guy lately was asking for the 80k upgrade, it should be it should be given to her? Yeah, you know I mean, I mean it's, considering it's, these it's, things, it's, it's, it's oh please, <laughs> it should be given to uh, her. The John, the John. No. Hey, no, you have no. a boyfriend. You're asking because you want to do hangouts with your friend. She's not serious in life. She has okay. lost focus. So, um, before you ask a question, Lenny, so <laughs> yeah. I mean, just to digress a little bit, mm -hmm. the reason also, why women are able five to five ask now. these questions and sometimes it may look silly to other people, but in the women community, it makes perfect sense, is because 
women go through things that men don't go through so yeah. they, they deserve a certain level of pampering beyond our regular understanding mm-hmm. because with that con- the statement for example there's no way a man in his right sense to understand that what the lady was requesting for but within the women community <laughs> like um gl- that's the global, global women community gwc i don't know if you're part of them though, but GWC, no because i don't understand what the no, girl gwc did. i haven't taken your membership for this no. year ah, okay global among what? Women yes. community. community is, that, is it real no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no God forbid, but <laughs> no, yes. So, so imagine like, worse. Like, it's like <laughs> SWA. Oh, like it will be last. They will fight over you. So SWA, for example, but how people know SWA? You know SWA. SWA. Oh, they don't yeah, know SWA. Yeah, yeah. Sisters with attitude. You know that. Uh, so with such uh, communities, child. you will need to understand <laughs> no, that. Yes, how are you? I'm there. fine. But it is understandable <laughs> because for women to go through some of these things, it's just nine not, months. Um, yeah, it's just nine months. Somebody has taken away your body. You can't understand. You can't read about it. You can't grasp it as much as they would. You know, well, we know so some of the women abuse it. Like they abuse the situation. Like yeah, yeah. They, they crave it and they start adding a lot of crazy See, things. Just to they're not even <laughs> craving for. They want to even crave it. Is uh, by force cravings. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So, soup and pizza. <laughs> yes. I saw. Um, I saw one. They brought the fufu at like no, twelve. What, what are she just took like like two and she like she left it I, you could see a man's face like <laughs> so so now with all these <laughs> um, shock you. Set, um, <laughs> stitches that are made really my heart. <laughs> look, with all these stitches that are done on the different layers you know talking about their the um the safety around them because it's like various layers have different various stitches all the way back up yeah you see, so mm-hmm. you see why you are told not to lift a lot of things because some, when lifting y- your muscles can. contract Mm. And they relax and help you lift and turn things and all that. So the incisions that all these incisions that were made will all be fixed mm. till the end. And these sutures are made with dissolvable sutures. That way you don't have to go in and go and remove them again. So mm-hmm. they'll dissolve and it's fine. You don't need to go back. And these things are done so well that if you look carefully, you have to very look look very carefully to see an incision oh, yeah. these days. Because they do it at where the tummy sort of the line between the, the pelvis, the fold. We do it below the fold. So when she's standing there, you see it. Mm-hmm. You don't see anything, unless she actually lifts and shows you that this wedding incision was made. You don't oh, see it, scary. right? So, what about the the place where it's cut? Is that because mm. you had mentioned that now they call it that what the uh, bikini. the bikini, bikini cuts? Cut. Yeah, I nearly said something else. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I no, I actually thought it was referencing like a, wanna, um, wanna, it's go. fine. Don't explain. Wanna, let's, it's let's okay. Go. The bikini cut. <laughs> 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 was it something else before the bikini cut? Yes, before they used to go this way. <laughs> the pantalon. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they used to cut from... from uh, it, was it, was trouser, trouser, yeah. it was the trouser cut. It was the trouser cut. Trouser cut. Trouser cut. Trouser cut. Because actually long. <laughs> That's why I what prompted the switch? In, do you have any uh, idea? Uh, uh, medicine is always... He is in that field, but so he tells me. We are always, we're always growing. We're always changing. Mm. Yeah. So we are looking for better ways to... Because... If you look at the older people who did it years ago, you can still see the scarring. Mm. And it's not nice. It's not nice. Wait, you see, that's why we call it a bikini uh, because after that you can still you wear a bikini. It? Why are you yeah, telling me? What uh, the uh, CS? No, I haven't seen CS. You're not seen CS. No, 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 no. Hey, you're a brave man. And uh, and congratulations. Uh, uh, thank you very much. I didn't know that. Yeah, I was um, um, no, no. Then become. Okay. Whilst we're talking, Rob, then become cute. That child delivery one. It's not be easy. How many times can a woman do CS? I'm going to also ask that. Can you do? Yeah, you said three, right? So C S C S C S. Yes. Can you do natural no. births after? No. So that means that it's if you start with if you start with C S, yes, a general no return. You yes. have to finish yes, yes. with yes. C S. Yes. So there's what? no way you do maybe you said three, so you do C S C S then jump natural to natural births. No. It's going to complicate your, everything. Yeah, your bones and your muscles and the pelvic region learn after the first delivery. So it's easier so and subsequent. You, uh, let me give so you so so Let me give you an example. Uh, season, season, season one. Yeah, season one. How do you want to be season two? <laughs> so if you want to have maybe five children, you you've done three CS. Uh, uh, you are having three children. Uh, uh, with every, the risk oh. of two deaths. Two deaths. The risk of no. Let me give you an example. <laughs> ever ever seen spaghetti when you boil it, right? Mm-hmm. And then you don't put oil or you don't put it in water and after you take it out. Boom. It binds, right? Yeah. Adhesions. They yeah. bind together. Yeah. Your organs, your internal organs, were not supposed to come in contact with atmospheric oxygen. Your inside okay. was supposed to stay inside. It's supposed to stay inside. It's in a sterile environment. Okay. So as soon as we break that chain and we expose it, when we close you up, is there'll be all your organs will start sticking together. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so so that's why it's easy for us to do an incision because we know what right. happens after the first one. Mm-hmm. So we know where everything has gone back to. Mm-hmm. Right. right. And therefore, some of them will be in certain positions that if you are doing natural birth, it could obstruct the child. Wow. So in cases where 
people have had. We, we spoke about one cysts. Kidney, and so you can do natural one. Uh, maybe you can do natural two if you want five. Mm -hmm. Two natural and then... We spoke about cysts and um, fibers, right? You mentioned that people need to go through, some people need to go through surgery to take it out. Yes. In cases where the person has done um, surgery for removal of fibroids or cyst and all of that, does that leave them with just two? No, 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 it doesn't. That, it's that's, that's not a bet. It's the same? That's not a bet. It's okay, a okay. Yes, okay. that's not a bet. That is a surgical procedure. That's okay. that's, a, that's not a bet. A, yeah. Because I'm for, only for asking a bet, because it's also an yes, incision. incision. Yes, incision, yes. I understand where I'm going. It's, just, yes. it's a very good question yeah. because then we still went into the uterus and yeah. went to get everything. Yeah, exactly. Yes, so, yeah, there are risks. We, we look at all yeah, that. We look at the numbers mm. because, mm. yes, mm. because the difference is that there was no child there. Okay. okay. So hormonally, structurally, everything is in place. Mm. So let me ask you, I mean, you are telling us that when you go through the journey of CS, there is no turning back. Has there been an abnormal situation? Where, where somebody delivered after after CS? Yes. Had Spot, a CS. Uh, not that I know of, but I, there's definitely, I'm sure somebody has done that. And if the person did not know, say for example, you went to hospital A, and, and then you traveled and, and went somewhere else. And you traveled and went somewhere else. So you may say you went to hospital to hospital A, mm. and then you you gave birth through <laughs> CS. You went to hospital B, and you were you were looking to give birth through natural birth, mm -hmm. right? Has there ever been in your in your usually studies, in usually your, in examination they'll find out because okay. okay. we examine your body. And you advise. We or advise. You yeah, we, yeah we, we advise and we give you the complications that this this choice. Okay. This is what is going to lead you. Right. For example, if you have a big child, right, and we tell you this is not going to happen, and naturally, the child, there was a video I left it behind. There was a video of a child that was trying to be delivered, a big child that was trying to, because the pelvic has bone. Gosh. You know, there's a there's a pelvic inlet and outlet. Okay. Right? Outlet, there's a vagina. There's a bone, the pelvis comes together and forms a second yeah. Push, yeah. shape. Yeah. Males have it, females yeah. have it. Yeah. You know, sometimes it can be so serious, the child is so big that sometimes your so. pelvis can dislocate a bit. The woman's purpose will dislocate mm. for, to allow the child to pass through. And does it heal back? Yeah, it will come back. But you go through excruciating pain. Pain, very good. But no. because the pain is in the same moment where the child is coming, mm. it does, it's sort of like mm. bundle. It overlaps. It yeah. overlaps. Yeah. Yes, it doesn't amplify. It just yeah. stays in there. That's the threshold. Now, in the case where the child is too big to go through, what's going to happen? The child is going to get stuck on the shoulder. The, the head will go head. through, but the shoulder yeah. will be stuck. stuck yeah. Breach. Um, and that's a breach bed. And that's when quickly, they will probably try and do a CS if they can't maneuver it. Mm. Oh. And now I have to pull him back inside. I have to pull him back in and go and get it from the other side. Oh. So it's so like I you coming through, so you're supposed so to go through this door. So I think that's what Lenny, I don't know if Lenny, that's what you're trying to ask. Because if you are coming through natural birth and that breach happens or that yes. situation occurs and they have to resort to a second a maneuver. CS, yes, yes. Right? It, I mean, the delay can make you lose a child. Who? Uh, so okay. when, when that CS is performed because of that situation, and you go back again, you can't go through natural birth. No, you can't. Because you don't see us. You don't see us. No, I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah, I get it, I get it. it. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it started a natural, natural which ended in the CS. Out. We didn't come out. As long as they preceded by the CS, mm. you are on that way now. So now Once you do you go CS. Once you go black, you go, can't go back. <laughs> doc, uh, doc, does it depend on the number of years with the... the woman or the... No. The intervals um, the between intervals. the child. So let's say that you had your first baby seven, eight years ago. And then you're going your back after baby. eight years. If the first one was CS, depending on how long it takes, can you now Ver have um, a natural birth? Very good question. Thank now, you very I always much. come back to the fact that every time, before we take a decision whether you are going to do natural or CS, we mm. need to. <laughs> we need to. We need to examine you first. Mm. Because we've gone to the point in this country where. We don't. We can't. We, we can't take it anymore. How a mother should go to a mother should go to. Rafa is asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> so ask him about them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 first, first, I will send you the video. But first, they missed this part of the first day questions. So yeah. please. So oh, please. I, 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 I don't like that. You see the genotype one to where I was <laughs> like, <"Well>, <laughs> if you <laughs> see it and I'm being <laughs> and I send C, but I didn't why why? How would that combine with my life? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's, 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 even, there's even this statement uh, my professor like made that <laughs> saying that I always say that he always says that if you if you are having sexual intercourse or have a partner and mm -hmm. then you keep introducing sperm to the partner mm -hmm. like into the partner mm -hmm. she in the beginning she might get rid of it like her body is that, it's a foreign it doesn't know what it is yeah. because it's from you yeah. so it takes time for her to sort of say okay this we want this yeah, this is what we're doing yeah, yeah okay. so it takes about six months for that to happen 
So mm-hmm. sometimes we always say that if you get pregnant within like the first three months, there's chance that the child you could have a problem. Mm. Yeah. Why? Because the, the, your body will start fighting against the mm. child. So the child will come out with some form ah. of sickness. Or she will get rid of it. It won't it, even implant. It won't even allow it to pass. It won't even allow the sperm to pass. It's like, who are oh. you? Hey, doc. What's, what? I'm sorry, but Charlie. let's deviate a little bit. What you're saying is... It's, get uh, it's 10 o'clock. To buy. Okay. Deviate, deviate. What <laughs> you're saying I'm is that two you virgins, virgins yeah. get married. <laughs> two, virgins get married. <laughs> two virgins get married. Uh-huh. If a honeymoon, uh-huh. and then uh, post a honeymoon, uh-huh. uh, sperm becomes uh, after three months. Foreign, yeah, foreign body, uh-huh. and the woman's body says uh, show ID. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So she doesn't like identify. Yeah, yeah. They should have been dating. They should, they should have been like, fine. Those are, that's why even, <laughs> what, what I'm trying even to when I'm married, let's say two virgins marry, right? Uh-huh. It's advised that they should spend like a year or two. You know, you keep hearing that, don't give it now, you know. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, other yeah. ways to go around it. Yeah. <laughs> but not enjoy explain what it's Enjoy your marriage a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Travel, you know, yeah. get to know each other more. Spend because you're spending time yeah. together before the child comes you know, in. when kids come, you have time for each other. It looks like they're just saying something, but actually medically, it's good. So are you saying that because at that point in time are you saying that we should introduce um what do we call it um man how did I forget this thing birth control birth control no. are you saying that are you saying that no we are not no. saying that we are not saying that because how do I stop the baby from coming I mean if you're having sex you're having sex yes that's what I'm, try- I'm trying to say that that's what I'm trying to say that it's a it's a plus one minus one situation in the where if the child comes yeah it can end up very good nothing happens okay or it can actually come and it she won't. so there's chance where you be having sex but she will not be conceiving okay that's because the body is fighting it's it? fighting against it all right right it's okay. still the sperm is still doing introduction right right okay. right but sometimes sperm you, can, you can look at some of the sperm on a film you can look at a film sperm analysis right and look yeah. at the you got it if you look at it you i'll have to get a video and probably one day we'll watch it yeah because you can maybe identify the sperms that are like Oh, Stronger. ready to work. Wow. And some book can be at one, one same place and be gyrating. Those are Arsenal fans. Oh, oh, oh. Pull it close. What's your role? Pull it close. Pull it close. close. Before you continue, let me just say, uh, before you continue, let me just say, a happy birthday to Akonoba. May you be blessed and highly well favored. Done. This is coming close from, um, this is coming from Jake. Uh, the marketing manager of Franco Trading as uh, as well. So happy birthday to you, Akonoba. Um, may you be blessed and highly favored. It's your birthday. We thank God That's for adding security. another year to your life as well. Okay. Um, back to the Arsenal fans. Um, <laughs> so next week, you know how we always wrap it up with knowing what to do next week. We'll look at the journey God. of the spam. Oh, can we continue? No, I don't we'll think continue. we've we're, we're wrapping up, though. Our time is up. Yeah. No, no, I mean, next week. Free consultation. Let's yes. yes, let's continue <laughs> there. <laughs> okay. The CS and yes, natural yes. best. No, no, problem. We will, yeah, Ask we'll, him about we'll, we'll, we'll have to wrap it up, though. Uh-huh. We didn't even get there. Questions. Yeah. 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 Ask, Lenny, we will have to wrap That's it up. That's a lot. But uh, I know there are a lot of questions. So yeah. I'll give you the I think you need to do this one day. Questions you need to ask your dates before you get married. Yes. Oh, I have. Who's that by Lenny Lomote? Lenny Lomote. And you have to turn off the light. And also, in the dark hole. Yeah, just a quick one. I'm sorry. So, this. This conversation, she is on natural birth. Is it a, uh, what you call it? Uh, it goes on every day. No, is it a couple decision? Yes, it or is. Or it's solely on the woman? Um, it's a couple decision because you are in this together. You are as one. Yes. Any complications after that? It's yes. two. It's two people are going to handle. I it's said. not one person. Right. Uh, okay. It's two people who made the child. Mm. It's two okay. people who made the decision that got you where you are right now. Okay. So you can't leave it for one person to do it. Time, time won't permit. Okay. I wanted to find out how faith, religion, and science play. CS and natural yes. oh that's a topic oh that's yeah so yeah. next week God will we'll that's what I'm saying it's not, we've not like yeah. so guys between <laughs> so let me ask let me ask all of you between mm-hmm. the journey of the spam mm-hmm. and science faith and religion of <laughs> CS and natural birth which one you do you want us to discuss science faith <laughs> and religion. I think we can do both now we can get yeah. more still under no. CS and natural birth no 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 no, 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 no oh no. you mean now 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 no 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 and we are next, next week, week yeah. but we cannot do both really no we can the enter deeper the journey of the spam is a different I think that I think we don't, we don't want that, to join it. <laughs> I think that we can enter deeper into the conversation. And then we we'll allow listen, the week after we can, season. Do, we can do journey of the spam after we Yeah, start after answer. we exhaust it. Star four four seven. I think that <laughs> star four four seven star <laughs> three <laughs> hash is how we vote. Also, if you want to I vote can. for these two conversations, <laughs> we'll put up on our on our ex poll and find out. Do you want us to discuss the journey of the spam? <laughs> Or you want to discuss part two <laughs> of 
CS and national things. Part two. Part two. Religion and Arsenal fans. If you're Arsenal fans. They direct. How we got you? How we got you? Explain your new one. My brother, go to the egg. I'm going to go to the it's campaign season. How we got here is very important. How you got here, not how you got out. No, it is important. I'm not saying. How you got here to how you got out is the question of the day. I'm only saying. No, the chicken and the egg. I don't think that we fully exhausted this CS natural birth conversation because there's a lot to talk about. There is. So once we do that, then we can talk about the sperm's journey. MPP says they want to continue. The MPP says they want to bring change. So it's we'll campaign decide. Okay, they decide. Let the voters decide. Let the voters decide. Let the voters decide. <laughs> okay, no problem. I'll see you. <laughs> Don't be an Arsenal fan. I'll see you. <laughs> Don't be an Arsenal fan. <laughs> Don't be an Arsenal fan. <laughs> my brother, swim for something. 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 Culture Daily was brought to you by Telesale.